bootcamp next year. As a startup, I would come here because it's amazing and you get so much great input and you'll develop your product. The Medical Valley Center in the German city of Erlangen was the venue of a special event. For the second annual time, a collaboration of Medical Valley, Unternehmertum, based startup and Fraunhofer IIS had called for companies in order to offer a substantial creative and reflective week in business design. The organizing team led into the final pitch event in front of investors and a jury. So welcome to the 2015 MedTech Business Design Bootcamp here in the Medical Valley, the very heart of the medical technology in Germany. Yeah, a great night tonight. And first of all, one of our last year's alumni is here, which is Yannick. He's got a startup called Heartbeat Medical, and he will give a talk in just a minute. Um, and I'm very glad that you're here and that you really share uh, your experience. Um, and I think that you will answer a lot of questions uh, afterwards and uh, give some insights. So uh, give a warm welcome for Yannick and thank you. I have a little presentation about us tonight, what we do, and some the key learnings we took from the last 12 months. That is just our personal way throughout the last 12 months. Maybe some of this might be helpful for you. The, the yeah. nonprofit events. Yeah. Um, what's in for all the participants? Because you said there are so many of them, right? There will also be six pitches of our this year's participant of the MedTech Bootcamp, which will tell us a lot about their hardware and software products, which we hope will at least contribute a little to a change in the medical industry to a more agile and more innovative um, way of treating patients. Uh, the software that we're developing right now is a logistics software within the hospital, uh, trying to take care of the whole sterilization process, um, documentation you have to take care of in the hospital. We can see, when, and with all the RFID gates, we can see where are our instruments at the moment. Uh, a team of four from Estonia, and I'm presenting you Dermtest, the toolkit for fighting melanoma. There are 55,000 deaths worldwide of melanoma every year. So, and in 3,000 are in Germany. So basically, 5% of the melanoma mortality uh, is in Germany. Let's allow also the middle class and the middle upper class of the society in Saudi Arabia to benefit from this kind of services. Middle class, and they really require to have a second opinion in Germany. The company name Connected Health lets me realize that you are connecting this bootcamp with your business proposal? Yeah, in a way, we do so. Uh, Connected Health is developing a, a product to, for a patient and doctor interaction. And this bootcamp here did an amazing job in developing the product even further. Smart little sensor, the MediBot. Um, so this is the situation we're facing right now. The population in Germany is getting elder, the people in need for care are getting more, and most of them have multiple diseases, so they don't have to take in one medication a day, they have to take in eight to nine different pills a day. We had an app for controlling uh, the smart pill dispenser, and also offer the possibility to monitor the medication intake on your smartphone. You can reduce this cost by 50%. So, for example, now Mr. Meyer is coming, and she doesn't know which kind of exercise, which kind of questionnaire she has to give him. So what she's doing is struggling. Do I have to print it? So what we are doing, we, we tackle this problem of the inaccessibility of information. How do we tackle this problem? By a simple technological solution. How come you are pitching in a session like this one for a full week? Well, you need to interact with other startups. You always get feedback, very valuable feedback here. And yeah, we enjoyed this week very much. You heat up and you can insert in the vagina. The problem with these products are the hot water bottle, you cannot carry it with you and go working with it. Um, the painkillers are um, unhealthy for long term use. Then the what we developed it consists of a battery, a heating wire, and a switch. You can switch it on and off via the wire. And it's a really simple but effective solution. You can, you, you will have an unrestric, unrestricted everyday life. You only need one device, and it's very effective because it's in the right spot. Discussions with other startups even focused on us more on our product and the development and the pitch. 
place called Lifetime. It's digital data transfer and health data exchange between patients and doctors. It's an encrypted container for all your health data on your smartphone. And I'm going to show it to you. He diagnosed me with a meniscus lesion. I am a doctor, so I know this is very painful, uh, but you're probably not doctors, so here's an explanation. And he transferred this data directly to your smartphone, no cloud, no internet connection involved. I lived in the beginning. Probably it was worth uh, a while. And I would like to thank all the people in the audience. Short two hours of compact presentations were completed. Following the pitch session, bootcamp participants and visitors gathered for dinner and shared tables for networking aspects. There was plenty of time wrapping up business ideas and keeping in touch for future collaboration. What was the role of entrepreneur and bootcamp coach Dr. Peter Mayer? I was asked to be a coach regarding medical topics and innovation and customer focused topics. What's your impression of the startup culture and the inventions you have learned this week? I think teams make a big progress. It shouldn't be only one camp, it should be a kind of uh, mechanism where people get coached over a long time. Not only one camp, but continuously training. I saw big progress from the moment they started to today when they pitched. The team made great progress. Yeah. And does that involve any uh, regional or domestic uh, partners? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We have a great partner here in Bavaria who's uh, developed the product from prototype to serial production now and I can only recommend it.